So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. In this video, I want to teach you how to master the one call close or teach you how to sell final expense life insurance all over your phone. Now what I want to share with you is I'm going to walk you through what is currently 6 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. I'm going to start calling my leads and I'm going to share with you how I'm going to close them. I'm going to share with you my intro. I'm going to share with you how I handle objections. I'm going to share with you how to get past the social objection. I'm going to share with you how to get the banking. I'm going to share with you how to get through the application. I'm going to share with you everything that you need to know to become a better sales individual. Right now, you might not be making money. Right now, so many people are struggling to make money in the life insurance industry, not because of leads, not because of their upline, not because of their mentor, it's because of you. You don't have the ability to convince people. You don't know how to say the right things to get people to move forward. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you one of the most important things that has changed my life, that has helped me sell hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of final expense life insurance, and you can have the same results if you can understand this one. Number one, it's to understand where the value is in the call. And secondly, how to say the right things, how to say the words to get someone to feel stupid for not buying from you. Yes, you are going to express and explain away their problems so that they feel dumb for not solving their problems today with you on the phone. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, but the process of sales is to understand how big their problem is and you the sales individual understanding where the value is so you can solve their problem so that you can make money again this could be a fruitful industry you can make a ton of money you can make twenty thirty thousand um, dollars in this industry if you can learn how to sell there is a sales epidemic of people sales individual who jump into this industry that don't know how to sell that don't know how to close and they're complaining how they're not making money but if you can learn this one skill which i'm about to show you here you're gonna crush it and make more money than you ever thought you would. Let's go, let's start calling some leads and we're gonna go ahead and one call close someone here. Let's see how long it takes and we're gonna go ahead and, and teach you how to become a badass closer. Let's get it. This morning in regards to this request you sent in, uh, shows you listed as a beneficiary, is that right? This is in regards to that life insurance request you sent in. God, Jen, it shows that you don't hear Okay, and how's it been for you? All, all under control? Uh, oh, good, good, good. I was going to ask you. And it shows here, got your birthday. Just want to make sure this is you. It's February 20th. Okay, and I have here, you don't have any coverage right now. Looking around, is that right, Miss Linda? Are you mainly looking to leave something for the family, or are you just worried about those, I guess, burial costs? Oh, okay, just wanting something small to cover the burial arrangements. Okay, gotcha. So, kind of how we work, Miss Linda, is that we just specifically help find the most affordable and reduced plans statewide. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through all 26 companies here in the state to see which one would give you the most affordable and reduced plan that are only available. It's all whole life. Yeah, is that what you're looking for? Okay, gotcha. Something where the cost won't change is... Yeah, that's my job. We typically are able to help. We find a lot of them have to wait two years, and my job is to help you find something that starts instantly. Is that what you're looking for? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, uh, you're two days after me. So yeah, I'm on, I'm on the 18th and the 20th, okay. Yeah, it's a Take a guess, how old do you think I am? I'm a young... 50s I could be um, I could be your, your grandson um, I'm 20 just turned 24 I've been doing this for 24 years too <laughs> now um, I'm here to help you oh, no, <laughs> no uh, my birthday is two days two days before you but I'm gonna do my best here for you miss Linda um, to see what you can qualify for I can send you a selfie if you want. Okay, I'll send you my driver's license. What, send you what? Um, I can try, um, let me see here. Cause we served a, uh, Mer uh, Maryland and Arizona in 20 states. We do mainly it all over the, all over the phone. Would that be an issue for you? Or? Yeah, are you just concerned that you didn't want to, you don't want to be scammed? What's your concern? Okay. Well, the reason I was going to share with you is I was going to send you my state government 
driver's license. I have to share with you my government background check profile. Yeah, please. I, I don't want to go to jail, Miss Linda, for 26 years, so I really want you to know who you're talking about. I'm 24, and I don't look good in orange. I can tell you that. Um, so let's see what you can qualify for. Are you a smoker by chance? Good. Any heart attacks, strokes, or cancers before, Miss Linda? I am good, good. You're smart. There you go. Good for you. Um, no heart attacks, strokes, or cancers before, I'm assuming. Uh, what other medications are you current, currently taking? Any amlodipine, lisinopril, carvedilol, anything like that? Peter Joseph Roberts. Yeah, Peter Roberts. That's me. And then also, I want to give you my personal cell phone number. Miss Linda does know if you, Heather, ever need to call me on a Sunday, Saturday when I'm not in the office. Just know that you can call me anytime. I, I want to be here to serve you guys. It's 443. I just really, really stress that with the way of the world, you know who you're talking to. And if there's anything else that I can send you to make you feel comfortable, please let me know. Um, I just really, you know, just stress that you know who you're talking to today, okay? And my job here is that I'm able to find you something where you can get the whole life coverage without a two-year waiting period. If something happens to you tomorrow, Heather's going to receive the full amount. Is that kind of what you're looking for? Okay. Yeah, so let me see here. So the one company that would will kind of just go right for it. Are you planning for a burial or are you going to kind of go the cremation route? Oh, okay. And are you just looking for something like 10, 15,000, something small like that? Okay. And let me ask you, Miss Linda, have you been looking around for some coverage for a while now? It sounds like you have. Okay. What's been kind of holding you back from getting some? It sounds like this is super important to you. What's been kind of holding you back from getting any life insurance? Okay. Your sister passed? Oh man, how are you doing since then? Oh wow, did she have any, any life insurance or? I see, and Miss Linda, um, would Heather be the one, I guess, responsible if something happened to you? Would she have to pay, pay for your burial expenses if you didn't have anything? Okay, so Heather has no money. And if you didn't have any life insurance, what does that look like? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So they, they'd probably have to knock on doors or start like a GoFundMe or something. What, what does that look like for them if, if, you, if something happened to you? That can be tough. Oh man, okay. Well, it sounds like you're just looking for something where you don't want to pass this burden on to any loved ones that you just want to, okay, okay. Wow, it sounds like this has been really heavy on your heart. I'm sorry for all your loss lately. That's probably been really hard on you. Um, okay, wow. And would you say just having a little something, Miss Linda, is that better than having, I guess, nothing? Is, is having a little bit of insurance better than having absolutely nothing? Okay, okay. Well, I got some good news here for you. Showing, yep, okay. And we work with a lot of people. Miss Linda, just want to let you know we're on fixed income, so we're typically on Social Security or retired. So we got to make sure we can find something that really just fits that budget for you. Um, what would you say your approximate monthly income is? Okay, okay. I just want to make sure... Because some companies do require like a valid checking account, but it sounds like you have one of those. Okay, good. Well, I got some good news for you here, Miss Linda. I found the only company here in the whole state that would give you instant coverage without a two-year waiting period. Uh, it's with a company called... Have you ever heard of them before? Okay. So write them down. They've been in business for over 112 years. They're a woman-founded insurance company. Back in uh, hey Danny, how are you, sir? 1980, sorry, 1983, um, and they haven't missed a payout claim in over 100 years, okay? Just a really well-known and established company, okay? Yes, I want to make that clear for you. The cost will never change. The policy amount will never change. If you get a $10,000 policy, the $10,000 will be there for you for the rest of your life. It'll never go up or down, and so will, not, so will the payments. The payments will never change. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be there. It's, this is the whole life coverage. Again, there's no two-year... 
Amen. Amen. <laughs> I hope to see you there. Um, and I, but, uh, amen. I, I hope we're both there. I mean, that's, that's where we want to, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I actually have my men's group here at about four o'clock every Wednesdays. So it's, uh, it's, this is, Yes, man, this is all temporary for us. But um, I, I make the joke at my men's group. I, they tell, I tell them that I'm in the that I help people with life insurance. I said the best life insurance is just the belief in Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> um, but here for you, Miss Linda, uh, they have two plans, three plans for you. They have a ten thousand dollar option, they have a fifteen thousand dollar option, and a twenty thousand dollar option. And you can just really go up or down based off of your budget and your needs. Okay. Um, but again, this is the only company that won't make you wait two years. Coverage will be there for you forever, and the price will never change. Let's go with it. It's everything that you need to cover a basic burial and at least have a little something in place that you can go to bed at night knowing that, you know, Heather's not burdened with any large bills. With that 10000 of coverage based off your age and your health here, it's coming up here to be fifty one fifteen per month. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the fifteen, the fifteen thousand. I don't think I'd recommend this for you. It's probably more than you need. Uh, the fifteen thousand would be seventy four fifty five. And then, if you wanted the bare minimum, is the seven thousand. This is just like the starter plan. This is what if you just want something where you can at least have something in place rather than nothing. The seven thousand would be thirty seven dollars and eleven cents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's another travel cost, about three to four thousand dollars, probably. Um, is that where your uh, your plot's at? Okay. Okay. Next to your husband. Okay. So, do you think like the fifteen thousand would be enough for you, or would you want something around twelve? Yes, ma'am. So the fifteen thousand would be uh, seventy-four fifty-five. The ten thousand is fifty-one fifty-one fifteen. Yeah, and this is please. Huh, is that what they do? I, I'm not sure. I don't. I just kind of clock in here. Um, just an employee. I don't do any of the marketing. But if if you're if you're uh, like if you're if you're 50 years old with no medical concerns, you can get. It's based off your age. That's where it starts at. It. You could probably get ten thousand. Yeah. Exactly. So that's kind of where, and that's kind of what's going to be your concern too. As you get older. It's gonna keep going up on you, but if you can lock it in when you're nice and healthy, like like you are here today, then you don't ever have to worry about the cost, you know, getting better, getting greater for you. Um, but you kind of fill me in here, Miss Linda. What would kind of give you the most peace of mind? Do you think you think the ten thousand is all you need, or you think that fifteen thousand? Yes, ma'am. Fifty-one, fifteen, and then the seven thousand is thirty-seven, eleven. Yep, that is not a problem. Um, I, I check on. I'll be checking on you every six months. So if you say, "Hey, Peter, I need another extra coverage," since you already approved, basically we just go through and just add on to it without any concerns. Mm -hmm. Not an issue. A lot of the, a lot of people that I help will start with like the ten thousand, and then actually a lady two days ago that I helped. Uh, about a year ago, she wanted an additional 10000 and we just got her more coverage. It's just, um, yep, you can just add it at any time, really. We, like, we'll know instantly. Um, so we'd have to submit an application together. They ask, make me ask you some more medical questions, and then they'll let us know if you can get the coverage or not. Looking at your medications and and what you're currently taking, you shouldn't have an issue. But I don't want to promise you something and then they tell us that we get declined, but you have about a 99% chance of getting approved just off your medications that you give me. So um, this is the only option here that, again, won't make you wait that two years. Um, 
what would be best for you, Miss Linda? Do you want me to help try for the seven thousand or the ten thousand? Like, what's best for you? Okay, and then they'll let us know. And you think that'll just be comfortable for you now and just fit the budget? I just want to make sure it's okay. Okay, good. And I'm gonna be here for you, uh, checking up on you. If you need to add to it, just let me know. But let's see here. We'll submit submit an application over here. And they will let us know if we can get you qualified. Last name here is C-A-N. No name on here, Miss Linda, or should we just leave that off? E-L. And then uh, we're going to put your zip code on here for you. And then this is how they're able to approve you or to decline you. They're going to do a prescription check. All that's tied to your social. So can you verify that for me? I just want to make sure I'm putting you on here and not your neighbor. I got two, three. Okay. And then what they're going to do for you here, Miss Linda, is they're going to send you a text message. Okay, and this is at $7,000 for the $37.11. Um, what would be a good date for you, Miss Linda, where you'd want this coverage to kick in so that you are finally protected? Well, I'd just say I'd set, I would set, up on a da set it up on a date where every month you have that, that 30 some bucks in there. Because that's when it, when it takes the money out, that's when your policy will... Yeah, I can do like the third Wednesday or the second Wednesday. What's, is it typically the third Wednesday you'd want to set it up on? Okay, so I can set this up for every third Wednesday of each month. Will that work for you? Okay, because the next, I can start this on April 19th of 2023. Is that how you'd like to start it? Okay, here. And if you ever need to change it, just let me know. Um, that means you, that means you won't be protected, so you're gonna have to wrap yourself in some bubble wrap until the 19th. But um, okay, on the 19th, and will you be funding that with like a checkings or a savings account? Okay, checking. Okay, and then who do you bank with? Fifth, third. Okay, here. Okay, I'm trying to put them on here. And let's see here. I don't know if this is right, but it shows it like auto generates the routing number is zero five. Uh, they need the routing and account number. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I can guarantee you. I sent you everything for you. <laughs> we can call it if you like. Once you're approved to to verify my identity, if you like. <laughs> well, nothing's gonna start and. and well, nothing's going to start until the 20, no, sorry, the 19th. Is that how you'd want it to start? Oh, they're not going to take the money out today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you can start with the account number, whatever's easier for you. I can, I can, ref no worries, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't explain away like who I am. I can give you the Department of Insurance number where you can actually look me up. That is like the, this is where I've been through the background checks and everything. Um, I also, you have my driver's license. Um, I also, I'll text, I'll text you an application right now. I'll text you a picture right now of the application that we're doing so that you can see that you have it. So let me send you a picture of my screen. Um... Uh, and then we can actually call it if we get approved. Let's do this, Miss Linda. I'll call in rural neighbors with you. Um, I'll give you my my agent code is that is my agent code, and um, yeah, I'm gonna. S yes, ma'am. That is my agent code. Um, I can also give you my my uh, house address if you ever want to come to my house. It's on my license. It's at seven seven two. Um, and if you want, I'll send you a picture of me and my twin brother. Uh, he's a police officer, so I definitely want to don't want to go to jail. I'll send you a picture of me and him. If you wanna, if you wanna have that as well, you get a copy of my Maryland, uh, Maryland approved uh, government uh, insurance license. That number was that also was sent to you in a picture. Um, but Miss Linda, if, I don't want you to get something if you don't want it. I'm just here to help serve you. And um, yeah, okay. I, I'm not here to convince you. I just, I, I'm gonna put you in the best position. So, oh. Yes, ma'am. And if you want me to also call your daughter after this and she can look up my information, I'd love to speak with her as well. And I also want her to know who I am. 
Please, please, yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to, even just get to meet your daughter too, that'd be lovely, because I want her to know that I'm here for her mother. So the last thing here for us is to put the way to fund it, uh, is that routing and account number. Um, okay, here, I got the routing number, it, it's, I don't know if this is right, is it the 05? We work with all the major banks, you can look up M&T Bank, you can look up Chase, you can look up Fifth Third, that's all public information. I work with, uh, uh-huh, I don't have the account number. <laughs> yeah. Um, zero five three one. Um, if you want the insurance, they just that would be the only way. Um, but Miss Linda, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm I'm here to help you. If you don't feel comfortable, I don't want you to give it to me. <laughs> um, we can we can schedule another time or something. I just I'm trying to help you here, but that's the only way I can help you. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this back to you. Seven. They're gonna send you over another text message from. I have to sign this first. This is me basically stating that I never lied on the application, that I put everything on here correctly, and that I submitted everything um, legally for you. So let me put my information on here for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I totally understand, and I, I appreciate your trust in me because you know I just see so many seniors getting taken advantage of, and um, as a fellow believer, I'm here to serve you, and um, I just. I just want to let you know that you're going to be in a good spot and um, that I'll, I'll be here to always take care of you, okay, Miss Linda? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You are fully, one that's why you have your policy. Yep, you are 100% approved. That coverage is going to start for you on that uh, on the 19th. It's going to come out on every third Wednesday of the month. As long as your payments are coming out, you're going to be covered and you're going to have that life insurance in place. Yes, ma'am. Amen. You're very welcome. Give your information. Give my information to Heather. All right, guys. So it is currently 7:55. That was actually the first call of the day, and we closed her up. Now, I just want to share with you. Uh, you probably couldn't hear, you know, on the other line, but there was so much resistance. This is one of the longest one call closes. I stuck in there. I fought for her, and at the end of the call, she was like, "Thank you so much for, you know, sticking around. Thank you so much. I trust you." She even apologized for not giving up information. As you can see here, this lady was so resistant. She was so concerned about getting scammed. She was so concerned about giving banking information. She was so concerned about moving forward. And when you address their concerns, you pull back and you're confident and you can tell them and give them all the information. Use what I did. I texted them so many pictures. I talked about my life. I shared stories. When you can share stories and move people through their objections or their pains, you can absolutely crush it. So just like this, I want to share with you guys. This is what makes me good and this is what can make you good. The, the reason that can separate you from the pack is being able to sell the people that 99% of people cannot sell. This lady, she answered the phone, basically upset, I'm not giving any information, you're not going to ask my banking, and I knew moving all the way through the call, there's going to be a lot of resistance. The resistance of banking is her biggest concern, my identity is her biggest concern, and the value, she wanted to find a product where there's no two year waiting period. If I could find those things, address the concern, and hit her right over the head with good information, build good trust that I was able to help her. And I think she's gonna be a great client. She actually called me. Can I already get more coverage? I appreciate you. And um, just just really pretty amazing on, on, on that call there. It's long, uh, it was over 90 minutes of total blank space of her thinking. I would give her objection. She would scroll through her phone. She would think about it. She would read everything. She was one of those clients, but those clients typically can stick longer. But I just want to share with you guys the skills that I've learned that can help you sell. This is the one call close. Here is how you tell literally anyone. Here is how you can sell, you know, people who are resistant, people who don't want to give up information, but need your product. And when you can explain the value, you can explain the trust, you can become a badass closure. I hope this video brought you a ton of value. Love you guys. Comment if you have any questions. Cheers.